I like their ability to choose what they want to do and to grow at their own pace and to have um, specialized one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. Um, in a traditional classroom, as we all know, you do math 9 to 920, reading 920 to 945. Here, he can do whatever he likes and still meet the criteria needed to succeed academically. Here, the children are given real tools. That's a real saw that he's using. It's real wood that he's cutting. And that goes back to the child's interest. Somebody who feels good about themselves as a learner can learn, become self-engaged, become self-motivated, because they see it. You see other kids that are able to do it, and if little Johnny can do it, boy oh boy, me as little Eric, I want to do what little Johnny can do, because he can just, he's flying with math, he's flying with numbers, I want to do what he's doing. I think this is a triangular based pyramid. It is. I think this is a sphere. Sphere. I think this is an ellipsoid. It is. Can you show me the ellipsoid? Where's the ellipsoid? Can you show me the sphere? Oh, you remembered it. Can you point to the triangle based, triangular based pyramid? You remembered. My son is six years old and I just got to observe him drawing a diagram of the solar system before I came in here. And in the same class, I watched a little girl working on her addition. So in the same class, you can have such a wide variety of skills and each of their needs are being met. One of the best things about Montessori um, is that the kids work at their own level. If you have a student, it's almost like doing um, an individualized education plan for every child because they can all work at their own level, their own pace, you can play to their strengths, whatever their strength is, they can work in that area. And since the curriculum's integrated, then they're learning writing skills at the same time they're doing science and maybe not realizing it. Um, that type of thing. I, I've just seen in the lives of my children that it's really benefited them. Can you take our tray back first, please? Thank you. What this little girl's doing now is real important for the order of the room and for the order of her mind as she's placing the material, she's placing the tray back on the shelf to hold the place so that she can go back and get it when she's done. But that's a part of it as they get something off the shelf, they put it back on the shelf where it belongs so it's ready for the next person to use. Now they're on a hunt for something silver to polish. This, we could polish that. I'll polish that. Okay. Now, I have on glasses, so I don't need these. These are safety glasses. We call them goggles. I would like you to put these on, please. They protect our eyes, yes. They keep our eyes safe. I think there's an element of grace and courtesy in the classrooms that I haven't seen in other rooms. I think, for the most part, I, have, I work with the four-year-olds and they're very, um, polite to each other and it, it, it's very genuine which I think it's because it's modeled often and a lot of the curriculum in Montessori they have a whole element of grace and courtesy and how to act and greet adults and how to say thank you and things like that. I've worked in a lot of different schools and not just um, Montessori schools but I've worked in the other schools and I think the students in our classroom show more respect. So Miss Angie is giving him direct preparation for writing with an indirect preparation for reading. Can you put N in my other hand? This is my other hand. It's my left one. Can you put N back on the table? N. Are you looking at the sounds or are you looking at my face again? without a shadow of a doubt, they are doing things that are moving them towards functioning in society as a competent, successful, self-motivated learner.
you a couple examples so you know what an inter interjection could be, okay? If you know it already, that's fantastic. For example, yuck. There, I had liver and can't, liver and onions on my plate for dinner. Yuck. <laughs> that's an emotion. It's a very strong emotion. Right now, we have tremendous teachers here. A uh, lot of teachers who are putting their heart and soul into the Montessori training. It has been very intense. Montessori is a totally different philosophy of education than in traditional schools. No, wait, that's an interjection. Think of an interjection. Rats. Rats. So how many did one get? Zero. So we have to put the zero there. Follow that? So we're done with the tens. That was easy. Now we want to do these. It is for all children. A lot of people think, oh, this isn't for all children. It really is for all children. It's just not always um, there for all families because sometimes the adults don't believe in it enough and they don't trust the children enough that they're going to learn. Um, because they learn differently than we do. And if they don't fit into the cookie cutter mold, then we think, oh, they must not be learning. And it's like, no, and that's what I like about having them for three years. Sometimes, I, even after the second year, I'm wondering, oh, I'm not sure. And then at third year, it's like, oh my gosh, they blossomed. Some blossom the first year. Some blossom the second, some blossom the third. You just never know. And I think that's the nicest thing about having the three levels in one classroom is um, you get to see all the stages, you get to see all the growth, and you get to help them along. They know you, the parents know you. Well, if you think about the thing, the problem is, is this is so far up here, this would have to be two, twice as big. This paper would have to be twice as big this way, and to get Hawaii in, which is over here, we'd have to make the paper twice as big this way. Okay, so we'd end up with a great big map. So they put it down there just to show you it's part of the United States, but they're really not that close. Right here. Okay, that's how big it would be if they actually drew a picture. And see, it's way up here. If you get out the world map and look at the world map, you'll see that it's so far up, and these are actually so far over that it's just easier to take that little piece and put it on a smaller map. And times five. Five is gray. That's the multiplier. Yep. Equals. And now what we're going to do is decompose. That means you're going to lay them out in colors. Do that. It's fun. I love the school. I love it so much. That's why I'm always here volunteering subbing for, you know, lead teachers, assistant teachers, whatever I can do here. I really enjoy the school. The atmosphere in the building um, has been very collaborative and lots of teamwork. We are a public school and we have to have the curriculum of the, the state curriculum. We have to have the MAPE testing. We have to have a public school setting. However, as a Montessori, we are pure Montessori. We are trained from the best, which is Michael Dorer. He is the best uh, schools for Montessori education. We are the most rigorous program for Montessori. So you cannot have better Montessori training than Wexford School.